So you dropped your glasses in one patient and left a guide wire in the other one. Well, I have also had plenty of really great days, too, I swear. Yeah. They're just not as funny in the retelling. So. <laughs> so, how are you feeling, Simon? Outstanding. I might jump in that triathlon out in Bellingham this Saturday. Unless my son shows up, but he's taking his sweet time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, listen up. Check your emails. Many elective surgeries were postponed due to the acute blood shortage. We're setting up a donation center. In the meantime, Jamara Blake returns today. And God willing, today is a day we'll get our program back. Uh, yes. Yes. I'll donate. Sign me up. Oh, come on. I'm dying. Someone laugh at my jokes. <laughs> <clears throat> Try not to pass out this time. Ha ha, very funny. Crap. What is it? I can't donate. What? Why? Men who are sexually active with other men in the last three months are prohibited. And I wasn't active. Uh, the last time I donated, I wasn't even out. But what about gay women? They don't care. That is the most asinine thing Shh. I have ever heard. Please. It's fine. You and your blood are being excluded for being gay. You should say something. Can I just keep my job, please? Plus, it's almost been three months since Nico and I broke up, so I'll just, I'll do it then. Go. Help! Help! Dr. Lincoln! What sorry. happened? Please, it's Lincoln. He's not Where's breathing. The... He's scared that he's dying. That's are plummeting despite his high flow. He's dropping too. We're gonna have to intubate you, Simon. No, no I'm okay. Just, just keep the air coming. Don't intubate. Don't talk, babe. Save your energy. They put the two. I may never wake up. Our son. Sats are in the 80s. So it's just maxed out. What do you want to do? Kristen. Intubate him. Get the intubation trick. I'm in the crew. We have size 8 ET2. Get such a ready. Give me some cry cord pressure. Hey, I, uh, I heard about Simon. You okay? I'm just trying to distract myself thinking about all the terrible things that are going to appear on the screen in two minutes. Oh, damn it. Hello forever. We used to live in this two-story townhome that had an upstairs office that I was convinced was haunted. And every time I would go upstairs to work, Simon would say, goodbye forever. <laughs> it always made me laugh. Until his diagnosis. I told him that I didn't want to hear that anymore. And suddenly, instead of goodbye, it was hello.